All right, welcome to exciting part three of this multi-part problem, right? Uh, let's see, okay, so what force would make the block slide up the plane with an acceleration of 2.4 meters per second squared? So here are our players, right? This is a force parallel, which acts down the plane. It's mg sine theta, right? This is the force perpendicular, which we don't really use, but it's mg cos theta. We don't use it directly. We used it to calculate this. This is the force of friction uh, kinetic, right? And this just acts opposition in opposition to the um, in opposition to the sliding motion. So this is kinetic coefficient times the normal force, right? And then this is the force of friction static, which we're not going to use because it's sliding, right? So this guy, uh, this is mu static times the normal force, and we're not going to use this, right? Okay. So an unknown force is a player, right? That's one of the players. This guy's a player acting down the plane. And then let's see, it's sliding up the plane. We'll figure this out. Okay. If the box is sliding up the plane, I think that the, the kinetic friction would be down the plane. Right? So we've got 15.430 down the plane. That's because the, the friction always opposes the sliding motion. If we're sliding up, friction's down. If we're sliding down, friction is up. It always opposes the motion. Okay? The parallel force is always down the plane. Okay? So this is negative uh, 21.502, and that's the parallel force, right? This is the force of friction, the FERC, right? And then the unknown force, of course, you know, it's uh, going to have to be up the plane, but let's pretend that we don't know, right? So there's some unknown force, okay? And now we just set it up. We're doing F equals MA, right? And the sum of the forces are uh, negative 21.502 plus negative 15.430 plus F equals 5. And then is it accelerating up or down? It's accelerating up the plane, right? Let's assume that the acceleration is also up the plane. It's sliding up the plane. Let's assume that it's also accelerating up the plane. Although it's not 100% sure, right? But let's just go with it, okay? So now let's, let's plug that in. So it's going to be 5 times 2.4 plus 15.43, plus 21.502. That's it, right? That'll be F. So F is, is 48.93. Right? So we'd have to say 49 newtons. The fact that it's positive means that it's up the plane. Yeah? 